بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اینڈ السلام علیکم پاکستان وی آر بیک ود کارپریٹ گورننس اینڈ وی آر موونگ فارورڈ ود دا رول آف گورمنٹ اینڈ اگین دا ڈفرینٹ کنٹیکچولائزیشن آف گورمنٹ اینڈ دا پرائیویٹ سیکٹر اینڈ ہاؤ دا گورمنٹ ٹینس ٹو پروموٹ گڈ گورننس اینڈ کارپریٹ گورننس ود ان دی اکانومی آف اے پرٹیکولر نیشن اور ایون گلوبلی ناؤ لیڈیز اینڈ جنرمین ٹوڈیز ٹاپک از ویری انٹرسٹنگ بیکاز وی آر گوئنگ ٹو بی ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ دا ڈفرینٹ فارمس آف گورمنٹ ریگولیشنس اٹ کین بی سیلف ریگولیٹڈ اینڈ اٹ کین آلسو Uh, be government regulated so we're going to be looking at these two different uh, dimensions and first of all we're going to look at self-regulation matured markets generally prefer self-regulatory system because they have greater proximity to the industry being regulated uh, it will be less bureaucratic in nature ensuring equity to all the stakeholders so again uh, wherever we see mature economies mature markets where we see developed countries we see that uh, they are focusing more on self-regulation uh, because again Uh, it creates a uh, self discipline uh, it also ensures uh, that uh, those organizations can do things on their own without having a hammer on top of their head and thirdly uh, again it also tends to create uh, better nexuses better networks better matrixes and frameworks uh, of cooperation and collaboration between the different industries and between the different sectors and most importantly they are less bureaucratic and therefore lesser administrative cost and lesser roadblocks and lesser red tape and ensuring equity to all is extremely important uh, when we talk about self regulation and it'll be easy for compliance so just like i was mentioning that it will be more transparent uh, more self accountable uh, and rather than uh, being rule oriented it would be principle oriented the mechanism uh, involved in the formulation and implementation of such system will be aware of all theoretical and practical issues so this is another very important aspect whereby we see that those mechanisms uh, are more flexible more adaptable and Uh, more all encompassing uh, and rather than uh, promoting rigidity they promote adaptability whereby the different players in the corporate sector uh, can uh, implement corporate governance in a much better way uh, the advantages of self regulation as revealed by john f kennedy are number 1 proximity flexibility compliance collective interest of industry and resources so what we see is that these five elements uh, tend to integrate together and contribute towards a self regulatory government which which is extremely important and is to the advantage of all of the different stakeholders and institutions uh, within a particular country uh, now there are certain disadvantages also uh, and those disadvantages are one uh, it could lead to conflict of interest and there's a very thin line how how is that going to be determined uh, can also result in inadequate sanctions uh, under enforcement uh, global competition and insufficient resources so these are some of the black lashes which also come uh, nothing is perfect so where there are advantages there are also uh, disadvantages of self regulation so this is what we see that ladies and gentlemen that uh, when we are talking about self regulation then self regulation is a preferred choice but it requires mature markets it requires a more mature and self responsible government and then it it also requires the different elements which have to integrate together so that they can promote uh, self regulation and that is the beauty of of self regulation within government thank you so much